Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Fashvika. Welcome to Global Art Magazine Pay Channel, where we make content for artists and creative entrepreneurs. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about the Redbubble Partner Program, what it is all about, and how you can utilize it to sell your own fan art onto the Redbubble. Uh, being an artist, a designer, or even a print on demand seller, and you can make more money by this partner program. So we'll be going in detail about this partner program and all. So let's get straight with today's video. Before going good part, consider clicking the like button, guys. I really appreciate that. And if you want more such videos, consider subscribing to our channel because we'll be uploading more such videos. And we upload daily videos related to it, so you'll be get notified about it. So consider hitting the bell icon as well, so you'll be get notified about it. And also, if you want the free stuff, the free graphics, the free KDP interiors, the free textures and patterns, I have a bunch of the free resources are in the link in the description box below. Or simply head over to globalcreative.com, check out the freebie section, download all the freebies, and make sure to check it out each month because we'll be adding more each month. Uh, it contains full commercial license, so you can use it for whatever purpose you want. Now, let's talk. So what exactly the Redbubble Partner Program is and how you can sell the fan art by that program and can make more money. So Redbubble Partner Program, create and sell officially licensed fan art designs for your favorite brands. The Partner Program connects you or an artist with popular brands so that you can share your inspired fan art with the world. And who is it for? It's for the artist, super fans, super fan artists, pretty much any creative person who wants to connect with a very engaged fan base. Guidelines, how you can submit your work to be as a part of this part of program and how does it actually work. So divided to the four different steps. The fourth step is the brand partnership. Like we have partnered with, partnered with a bunch of amazing brands so far and we are always adding more. So be sure to check in from time to time. It's super important to remember to respect the rules established by each rights holder. They are the ones behind all the brands you are into and after all. So first of all, you need to check, check, check out the different brands that the Redbubble has been partnered with and read their guidelines, what it is all about, what they are saying in their guidelines. Uh, what type of work they want, uh, it should be uh, some specific criteria or something like that. The second step is become an expert. Each brand has its own set of guidelines. Make sure you're familiar with them before starting work on your art. Following closely to make sure your works have the best chances of being accepted into the program. So make sure when you head over to the Redbubble uh, Partner Program, I'm going to leave the link of the Redbubble Partner Program in different links of the resources in the description box below. You can check it out. You can simply go over to that and see the different kinds of brands that Redbubble have partnered with. And then you're going to click on that specific brand and check their guidelines. Read the guidelines because each and every brand has their own specific guidelines, their own criteria or what type of fan art they are accepting. And uh, also you... Also, if you want uh, to increase your chances to be get accepted in that partner program, you need to follow their guidelines. You need to make your authentic design with using their own brands. Uh, depending on each specific brand, there are so many different brands, so you can check it out. The third step is tag your work. So you know the guidelines, you know which brand to partner with. Now you need to make your work and you need to upload it onto the Redbubble. So while uploading your artwork onto the Redbubble, you need to tag that brand. So once your design is ready, upload it to Redbubble and tag it properly so that particular brand know that you have entered this uh, partner program with them and they're gonna see your work and they're gonna determine whether they wanna accept it or they wanna reject it. So this helps our part to review and license your design. You can find the correct tags in each brand's guidelines. So make sure you are reading each and every brand guidelines correctly so that you will be able to know what are the guidelines and what are their specific tags that you want to use in your uh, designs to be to get a chance by those brands to review your work. Once the review is complete, we will send an email to let you know if your designs have been accepted or not. So they're gonna uh, send you an email, Redbubble is going to send you an email regarding telling you that whether you are accepted for the part of program or not. Inbox. <laughs> That's all guys. The fourth step you need to check your inbox of your email inbox that whether Redbubble has sent you any email regarding that particular part of program or not and all. So it's quite simple. It's quite easy. There are so many brands. I'm gonna name a few brands the Redbubble have partnered with so that you will be able to know there's the Evil Dad, the Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Hell's Kitchen, Impractical Jokers, Jana the Virgin, the Bravos, Jurassic World, The Kiss, The Last Kenny Corn, Love Island, Orson Wallace, Orphan Black, Over the Garden Wall. So there are so many different brands the Redbubble have been partnered. Make sure you check it out. I'm going to leave all the resources in the description box below. 
So what are the benefits of the partner program? Like why you need to consider for partner program? Like there are the few benefits. First, that's make fan art for popular brand, which is pretty amazing. Like if you are making specifically, for example, for the Jurassic World, if you are making some kind of like the dinosaurs, kind of like a design for that Jurassic World uh, brand and you use the tags in your designs for that specific and they review your design and if you get accepted then you're gonna get the license for your design for that specific brand which is pretty amazing in case of the portfolio if you're an artist you're a designer then you can very well write in your portfolio or introduce this thing in a portfolio that's been licensed by this particular brand it will really going to help you in getting more sales uh, more designs and also it will going to add a more cherry on a cake sort of stuff on your portfolio which you can submit wherever you want to and get more stuff from that the second thing is benefit get officially licensed reach a whole new audience show off your fan art badge so you can show off your fan art badge and also you can reach a new audience thereby making more sales so it's kind of like a win-win situation so make sure to read their guidelines of each specific brand to increase your chances to be get accepted that particular brand now i'm going to talk about some important things that you should be knowing for this specific particular program it's a super important that our new partner program has artist interest at its heart we are working on our socks off to establish balanced partnerships where both the right holders and artists benefit equally and we are making an effort to work with brands who truly support this approach and you need to be considered uh, for selling fan art onto the or been applying for the fan art program on the redbubble the first of all it's limited to redbubble this license covers the sale of your artwork on redbubble marketplace only so this license for which you will be if you get accepted in this fan art program um, and one particular brand license your work then this license covers the sale of your artwork on the redbubble marketplace only so you are limited to marketplace only if you sell it anywhere your artwork could be denied from the program you remove from the redbubble and in some cases your account could be suspended so if you get accepted in the redbubble pattern program for that particular artwork and if you are selling that artwork on any other platform in the online space or in the offline space and you get caught up by selling that then redbubble will going to remove your design from their work, uh, from the platform you may get suspended from to the redbubble as well or there could be some other issues regarding that particular art so make sure when you're applying for the fan art program and you get accepted for that particular artwork you are only allowed to sell that art on that uh, redbubble marketplace only you're not allowed to sell that particular license art on any other marketplace out there or any other online space so however we are partnered with tpublic to expand our fan art program and so redbubble has also partnered with the tpublic to expand their fan art program so you can click and know more about the fan art relationship with the tpublic but specifically this fan art program is more related to the redbubble there are the some things that are also applicable for the tpublic you can check it out now your artist margin there are no changes to your artist margin you will still be paid in full now there is no changes in the artist margin the whatever artist margin you are setting you are allowed to pay it in full making edits to your work changing your uploaded work in any way may reset the licensing review process and your artwork will be suspended for review again this include making changes to tags title of the work on the work description so there are the some things that you need to be considered over here guys the first of all you are not allowed to sell that license art if you get accepted into fan art program or this redbubble partner program you are not allowed to sell that license work on any in the online marketplace or even anywhere else other than the redbubble marketplace second thing is that you can't make changes to that design once it has been approved you can't make changes in the title and the description or even in the tag or even in the design itself you can't make any changes in the design or in the art once you have been accepted in the redbubble partner program so make sure you read the guidelines and you read the proper things about each and individual brand before going and partnering for any specific particular brand partnership now guys the process is quite simple let me just recap for you for the one so you know that how what you need to do to if you want to uh, go up and sign up for this Redbubble Partner Program. What you need to do, you need to just go into the Redbubble and check their Redbubble Partner Program and check all the different brands that they have and read specific brand guidelines before submitting your work. Like, 
if you see that there are so many different brands and if you are interested in one or two brands read the guidelines make sure you reach each and every point of the guideline and understand it very well and then make your design according to it and then upload your design onto the red bubble and use the tags that are mentioned in the guidelines for that specific particular brand in your design so that that brand will going to review your design for the fan art program and Redbubble will going to send you an email if you get accepted or you get rejected for that fan art program. So this is just a simple basic steps that you need to do to set yourself for this Redbubble partner program. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you really find it useful. Do let me know in the comment section below. Have you ever applied for the Redbubble partner program or not? Or even if you are thinking of applying it for the one or not. I would really love to hear from you in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. See you for the next time. Take care. Bye guys.